Hi everyone, in this video I will uh, show you how to compute the step responses of, of these two given systems. Uh, so the first system is s plus 2 over s plus 5 and the second one is 3 over s squared plus 2 s plus 5. And for each one of us, each one of those systems we will uh, calculate the, the step response. So let's do it for the first one. Uh, G1 G1 of s is given as s plus 2 over s plus 5. And we know that C, the output, the step response, is given as G1 times R, where R is R of S is equal to 1 over S since we are dealing with a step input. Therefore, C will be given as 1 over S times S plus 2 over S plus 5, or s plus 2 over s times s plus 5. In order to find out that the value for ct, we just need to use the inverse Laplace transform of c, c of s. So c of s can be rewritten as a over s plus uh, s plus 5 at the denominator and b at the numerator of the second one. And from here we can say that uh, a plus b should be equal to 1 and 5 times a should be equal to 2. From here we know a is equal to 0.4 2 or 5 or 0.4 and from here we, we know that p is equal to 0 0.6 and if we replace them here c of s will be equal to 0 0.4 over s plus 0 0.6 over s plus 5 and from here we can obtain the time response the step response in the time domain which is equal to 0 0.4 times step of t plus 0 0.6 e to the minus e to minus 5t times step up. So this is the step response of our first system. Now we can continue with the second one. So I will call this C1 to make it different from the second case. For the second case we have G2 as 3 over s squared plus 2 s plus 5 so as you can see here we are dealing with a second order system in the previous case we had a first order system again c of s will be provided as g2 of s times 1 over s or in other terms we will have 3 over s times s squared plus 2 s plus 5 and again, in order to find out the C of T in the time domain, we can use the inverse Laplace transform, but, but to do that, we need to, uh, to find out the fractional parts of C of S. So we can write C of S in this form as the summation of uh, two fractions s in the denominator of the first one s squared plus 2 s plus 5 at the denominator of the second one that the numerator of the first one b may have some value like a and for the second one we could have b s plus d where a b and d are numeric values and we can find out the value of a b and d here so the overall numerator should be equal to 3, therefore a plus b should be equal to 0, 2a plus d should be equal to 0, and 5a should be equal to 3. From here a is equal to 0 0.6, and from here b 
is given as minus 0 0.6 and we can easily find the value of t from here which is equal to minus 1.2 so replacing these values we will get c of s as 0 0.6 over s plus uh, minus 0 0.6 s plus 1.2 over s squared plus 2 s plus 1. So for the first part, it's easy. We, we know that the time domain equivalent for this part is 0 0.6 times step up. And for the second part, we can refer to uh, this Laplace transform pairs. So e to the power of a t sine of b t will give us b over uh, s minus a squared plus b squared. And also for the cosine case, we have the 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 Laplace pair as well. So we need to transform this in the into the uh, proper format. I will rewrite C S as 0.64 S uh, plus so uh, let's move minus 0.6 out of the, the this part of the transfer function so we will have uh, this one should be minus so minus 0 0.6 times s plus 2 over so here in the denominator I can have s plus 1 squared plus so we will have 4 or 2 squared now having a look here so if we compare what we have here s minus a over s minus a squared plus b squared I, I can see that here I can uh, we can keep uh, s plus 1 at the numerator so I can rewrite this as 0 0.6 over s minus 0 0.06 times s plus 1 over s plus 1 squared plus 2 squared as one term and then for the second term, we have 1 at the numerator, but we need here b at the numerator. So I will rewrite it in this form. 1 half of 2 over s plus 1 squared plus 2 squared. Now we can see that the first part, the first term here uh, s plus 1 over s plus 1 squared is in this format so accordingly the equivalent time domain signal will be e to the power of a t cosine of dt so here we will have e to minus t times cosine of bt and for the second one since it corresponds to to this b over s minus a squared plus b squared, we will have e to the a t sine of b t. So from here we will have e to minus t sine of b t, and we have one half over there as well. So as a result, our c of t, the time domain signal for the step response. Will be provided as 0 0.6 times step of t so here u of t is uh, representing step of t minus 0 0.6 times e to minus t cosine of 2t plus uh, one half or 0 0.5 e to minus t sine of 2t. so this is the time domain uh, response of the second system or the response of the, the second system for this example. For the first one, we have 0.4 ut plus 
0.6 e2 minus 5 dut and for the second one uh, we have this situation for this this time response uh, so you can just verify it with with metab and check out the, the solutions all right so this is all for this video i hope you have enjoyed it thank you for watching and see you next time